This video will cover the topic, Finding the Asymptotes of a Rational Function, Quadratic over Linear. Let's work together to solve an example problem so we can get a better understanding of this topic. In this problem, we are asked to graph all asymptotes of the following function. f of x equals the quantity x squared plus 5x minus 5 divided by the quantity of x plus 1. We'll start by finding the different asymptotes, vertical, horizontal, and slant. Let's find the vertical asymptotes first. Remember that a rational function in simplest form has vertical asymptotes at the zeros of the denominator. So first, we'll check to see if the function is in simplest form. How do we know if it's in simplest form? The numerator and denominator cannot be factored, so no cancellation can occur. Therefore, the function is in simplest form. Next, we will set the denominator equal to zero and solve for x. This tells us that there is one vertical asymptote at x equals negative one. Next, we'll find the horizontal asymptotes. Remember, a rational function can have at most one horizontal asymptote. How can we find it if one exists? We will compare the degree n of the numerator with the degree m of the denominator. If n is less than m, the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. If n equals m, it's y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. If n is greater than m, there is no horizontal asymptote. Given these rules, what is the horizontal asymptote for this function? The degree of the numerator is two, and the degree of the denominator is one. Since the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. Good job! Now we'll find the slant asymptotes of this function. What is a slant asymptote? A slant asymptote is a non-horizontal, non-vertical line that the rational function behaves like as x increases or decreases without bound. A rational function in simplest form has a slant asymptote if the degree of the numerator is exactly one greater than the degree of the denominator. Our function has a numerator with degree two and a denominator with a degree of one. Therefore, it has a slant asymptote. We can find this asymptote by performing long division. We will divide x squared plus 5x minus 5 by x minus 1. This gives us x plus 4 minus 9 over x plus 1. Note that as x increases or decreases without bound, negative 9 over x plus 1 approaches 0. As negative 9 over x plus 1 approaches 0, we have that x plus 4 minus 9 over x plus 1 approaches x plus 4. So, as x increases or decreases without bound, f of x approaches x plus 4. That is, f of x has a slant asymptote of y equals x plus 4. This leaves us with two asymptotes, a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1 and a slant asymptote at y equals x plus 4. The last thing we'll do is graph these asymptotes like so. This is our final answer. Let me see if I understand. When graphing the asymptotes of a rational function, First, we will find all vertical, horizontal, and slant asymptotes using the given rules for asymptotes, and then we will plot them on the graph. This will result in our final answer. That is correct. Great work! 